What is good friends, we are back with a Smogon Championship quarterfinals game. This is game one between Poik and Flame Victini. Uh, Poik is using my uh, team that my man BTB made. This is a defensive land, though. He's just gonna get his rocks up here. Obviously, Pex eats off with aggressive terrain, so Poik is just gonna U-turn out into his Heatran. This Heatran is actually the Magma Storm Z Bloom Doom. Z Bloom Doom and aggressive terrain is pretty cool. He's just gonna be able to go for Magma Storm. We do see that the Pex on FE set does not have Black Sludge, so there's a chance that it's like a Payapa Pex to help versus the Volt matchup, or it could also be Shed Shell to help versus the Heatran matchup, because it's also kinda annoyed by Heatran. Um, Shed Shell Pex is cool, really cool if you're weak to Tran, because you can go to it on a Magma Storm, then you can pivot into Lando or Hooper on the off power. As I assume Poik is just gonna go for Z Bloom Doom here in Grassy Terrain. Uh, Hooper comes out, confirming that it's Shed Shell Pex. I think Hooper might be able to eat this up. Yes. Hooper does have amazing speed up. Now Pork is gonna switch out. Heatran is really nice to um to keep around. He's either gonna go to a Mawile or um, Tapu Bulu is my guess. But yeah, this is a team that my man Tapu uh, my man Tapu Bulu. This is a team that my man BTB made that Poik is using. Big shoutouts to him. So that I can talk about the sets real quick. It's Scarf Ladi. I think it's Specs Ash Gren, AV Bulu. I SD Mawile with Knock of Sucker Punch Player of and SD Knock of Sucker Punch Player of SD here. And I might have gotten one of the sets wrong, but that's what I remember at least. Now, he doesn't obviously want to get his Bulu poisoned, so Morwell might be the play here for sure. But uh, if the Hooper has Fire Punch, that could be bad for Poik. Uh, looking at FE's team, I think either the Land or the Hooper is going to be the Zemo Fuser. The Scissor should be a defensive Defog variant, the Katana should be Choice Scarf. Uh, the Toxapex should be the Spider variant with uh, T Spikes, Scald Recover, Haze. And the Bulu is probably AV, so he doesn't go to Marwell. Let's see if he has Fire Punch predicting the switch. He does just play it safe by Hyperspace Furying. Okay, so now FE should either sack to Hooper because he doesn't really have a good switch in, unless he's defensive Lando, or he can go to Lando if he's defensive. Because Pex doesn't want to come out on a player off or knockoff. Like Pex is Spadaf, rocks up, it's gonna get 2 hit killed by the Marwell. Uh, Poi can just go for a knockoff here, I think, because it's, it's pretty risk free. If the Lando comes out, and it's defensive, it loses its item. If it's offensive, then you will know that it's, um, if it's Earth Pet or z, uh, z Move, you will get information. But if it's offensive, then Effie will probably not switch the land in even. And, I mean, obviously Effie wants the Hooper as fodder for later, so... Uh, I know, like, he, want, he wants to save it, right? So whenever, like, Heatran comes out, Mowa comes out later, he has a fodder. But, like, I don't really think he can afford to do that, because... If he goes Pex here, that would get 2-hit KO'd anyway. So he doesn't not make it yet, and he doesn't know the Mowa's move set. Yeah, like, I don't think there's a point in SDing up for Poik, like I said, um, actually I didn't say it. Like, I just think knockoff is the play here. It's risk-free, um, 2 hit chaos packs with rocks, I'm pretty sure, because it's the death packs. There's a good amount of scissor, kind of forcing scissor to roost. And obviously, if Hooper stays in, uh, when you make a wolf, you get some extra bulk on Mega Marvel, well, you will easily be able to eat up the Hyperspace Fury. Also, if they play, um, any lower tiers in, in the second or third game, my man Ultra Balls, might guess narrate that if he has time. If he doesn't have time, I will try to narrate myself, even though I don't know lower tiers. But the yeah, knockoff should be the play for Poik. Also, shout out to BDB for um, guest narrating last round. Poik versus, um, versus level 56, the OU game. And my man UB did the Ubers game. I think the, the winner of the series plays F, the winner from FLCL Rear Scarface. I don't remember if they played already. But he does go to Pax, but this is gonna get 2-hit KO'd. I don't like this play. And now he took like he, he took so much damage, he cannot even regen this off that well. So I think he should have just sacked the Hooper in the first place. Um, because that you guys can obviously see that there's 50. With Rocks up, that did like uh, 62, and regen only healed 33%. So he didn't really gain anything from that. He could have just sacked the Hooper in the first place. A uh, really great play by Poik SDing up there on the potential recover slash uh, Hooper sack. Now this kind of forces Flame Victini to go for Earthquake. So Poik can go into his Ladi or his Lando here on the Earthquake. Most likely Landorus is going to come out. Um, I'm guessing that this is some sort of offensive lander because he didn't switch it in on the Mawile. So either off plate or Z move. I'm guessing more so Z move. But yeah, Poik should always go into Lando here. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like he could go Bulu, but then he gets poisoned. And if the Lando sky so that doesn't work out for Poik. So he does just go in his own Lando. And yeah, Poik is just gonna HP ice here. Uh, Flame Victini can probably switch out into his, um, his Scissor or his Bulu. Both can eat up HP eyes. Um, this is, yeah, he just HP eyes. I think that's confirmed AV damage, that does nothing. Now, Poi can U turn out here into either his Morwell or Heatran. Um, I think Flame Vitini should go for Nature's Madness here. Yeah, 
He could also go for a wood hammer. But I assume Polk is gonna go to Marwal. It can eat up pretty much anything from the Bulu. It even eats up superpower, obviously. It lost Intimidate, but it uh, gained some extra bulk after Mega Evolving. So I assume the Marwal is gonna come out and the Marwal is gonna... Um, probably go for Play Rough. There's a chance it goes for SD. But Play Rough is probably fine. Now, like, I don't see him going Heatran because Heatran would get destroyed by superpower. He doesn't want his Bulu to get poisoned. Uh, Ladi doesn't really do much back to Bulu and just lets it heal with Horn Leech. So Morwell should be the play here. Greninja obviously would die to Horn Leech, so that's also not the play. Or Woodhammer would also kill it. So yeah, Morwell is the play. Uh, Grassy Terrain is really helpful here for Poik's Morwell. And yeah, like I said already, I think Player of should be the play here for Poik. As Effie um, is probably going to go to his Scizor. He wants this Bulu obviously healthy for the Greninja, so he's not going to stay in. He would get destroyed by a player of. And he, he doesn't want to go land because we have already seen he didn't go to land earlier on Mawa. And he didn't have lefties. He's most likely offensive. Pretty much from what we what I expected as well from looking at the team. He has a um, Bulu and a potential defensive scissor to deal with Zygarde. So it makes sense that the lander is offensive. He does just go for player of. Now, I think Effie should just go for bullet punch here. Um. This doesn't have Fire, Fungs, Fire Fang the Marwald, so... Like, if if Effie was forced to Roost here, then uh, Poik could SD up and beat the Scissor 1 on 1 even, potentially. But I think, um, yeah, the Scissor is like a little bit too healthy for that. And Grassy Terrain is also healing the Scissor. So I think um, Poik is probably gonna go Heatran here, like... Um, either on a Roost or on a Bullet Punch. Like, no matter what Effie does, um, I think Heatran is pretty fine here. Also, I like that, um, like, obviously this team doesn't have a PAX, the Poix team, that, that BTB made, but it's not that weak to T-Spikes, even though it doesn't have a T-Spike Absorber. It has a Ladi that can defog without getting poisoned, and then only two months are affected by T-Spikes anyway. And also, it does have a Mawal. When you have a Mawal, you're always forced to run a secondary Steel type, like either Heatran, Steeler, something like that. Usually, you're forced to do that. Um, I guess sometimes you don't have to if you want, like, AV Bulu. AV Bulu can kind of check Lele, um, switching in and changing the terrain. Just, I'm just talking about in general. Obviously, FE doesn't have a Lele. Just talking a bit about, like, general team building, general, like, how your team look, how the teams look these days. Um, like, Fla and Flaming Team has a pretty common core in Katana and Bulu. Giving um, Bulu giving Katana Grassy Terrain boosted Leaf Blade. Also, he has a Pex, which obviously Grassy Terrain helps the Pex out, weakening the Earthquake. But yeah, Poik is probably gonna go Heat here. It's taking quite long. But obviously, like I said, I know the team. It's SD Knockoff. It does not have Fire Fang, so he's not gonna stay in, I don't think. Yep. Let's go Heat I think Bullet Punch comes out. Yep. And now, Magma Storm should be the play here for Poik. And Effie is. He doesn't really have a switch in. He has to go Landorus or Pex. I think Landorus can maybe live a Magma Storm. And it should outspeed the Heatran. Since, um, yeah, it's offensive Lando. But this is going to do like uh, maybe 60 or 70%. Actually 60, I guess. 61, okay. So it can barely eat that up with this secondary effect from Magma Storm. And now, Effie should um, maybe go for his Z-Move here if he has it. Uh, Poig is most likely going to go back to his Landorus here. So this is either Connor, Crusher of Sky Strike. I would assume Sky Strike. I mean, uh, I haven't calculated the Hooper damage versus the Morva, but I think the Hooper wasn't the Zemo user. I think that is the Zemo user. And yeah, Sky Strike just or Connor and Crusher gets him something out of the turn, no matter if Pork stays in or switches. Um, obviously, he's probably gonna switch because Heatran is just really nice. Uh, for the Scizor, for the Pex, for Katana not being able to spam Leaf Blade. Not being able to spam Smart Strike, so yeah, Tren, um, obviously Poik wants Tren alive. Jeez, he goes Ladi, um, which I'm a bit surprised by. He goes Ladi, um, he's gonna die to the Z-Move here. His own ladder would've been able to take the Z-Move better, but he didn't necessarily need the Ladi to win, so that was still a fine play. And now his Greninja and his um, Bulu are gonna get poisoned when they come out, because he lost his Defogger, but that's fine. Um, he wants to keep rocks up anyway, um, so I don't think it was in his interest to Defog. Now he is going to go into his, um, either his own Lando or his, like if he goes Marwal then he has to spam Sucker and then he can get outplayed in a Sucker Punch game, so I don't think that's the play. Yeah, I was going to say either Lando or Greninja. 
I hope I already said Greninja because I don't want to look like a fool who says the play after the play was made. So FV is going to go and switch out here. He doesn't want to give him Ash form. He's either going to go into um, Pex or Bulu. Um, so Poik could go for Spikes here. If I think this, I, like, I don't know. I don't remember the Greninja set. I know most from the team, but I don't remember. If they had Spikes, then that's a good play here. Just Dark Pulses. Gets off nice damage on the Pex. Uh, forces FV to go into Tapu Bulu. So now a good play for Poik would be doubling. Doubling into either Heatran or Morwell, predicting the Bulo, yup, nice play. And now, Morwell is in, Morwell has great terrain, and now Morwell can go for SD, and Morwell can do its thing, and put FV on a, in, tr in a trouble scenario. He cannot even get the Intimidate off, because the lander will die to rocks, if I recall correctly, he was super low. So he's gonna switch out here, because he wants the uh, Bulo for the Greninja, and for the lander also. Even though he has a scissor for the lineup. Um So his play is either... I think Pork's play is SD for sure. And Effie's play is probably hard scissor. Because if he sacks the lander here, then he doesn't get grassy turn. But if he goes hard scissor, he gets some grassy turn recovery. So he play roughs, okay. Um, I thought he would SD, but this works. And now he can SD because the scissor is forced to roost. And then he can start spamming knockoff. He could... Um, alternatively, he could go back into heat turn, obviously. Um, that also works out fine for Poik. That would force that would then force Flame Bikini to sack off the Lando most likely. And go into Katana and click second sword after. Yeah, Heatran is actually looking uh, really scary for FV. But yeah, like I said, uh, SD is also an option here for the Morwa. As Flame Bikini U turns out breaking the Heatran. So he's just gonna have to sack the Lando him. Mm -hmm. And now when the Lando comes out, uh, the Scissor comes out, it has to take rocks. Now, I don't think Katana can kill them all with any move. I don't think Bulu can kill the... So he goes into Scissor and... He's either gonna Roost or Bullet Punch. Now his Scissor is super low. Obviously, this was t uh, this was a tough position for Effie anyway. Uh, I can understand that he tried to catch the trim with a U-turn. Poik didn't really lose much by staying in though. So you guys can see, Knockoff does 47.50. So like, Poik doesn't lose anything. His mom is getting Grass to rain back. And even if the scissor is healing, uh, is barely healing some HP, warmly one he loses to the mobile. Um, knockoff has more PP than Roost has, and depending on rolls, knockoff can do more than half. I'm pretty sure. So we can see 47, 50, 49, 53. So like it almost does like around half. FV is not really healing anything here. He gets an even higher roll now, and this doesn't work out for FV. Um, so what FV is, I guess, trying to um. If he's like trying to get low rolled so he can eventually lift two knockoffs. But I don't think that's gonna happen. I think eventually he just has to go for bullet punch, sack off the scissor, and then afterwards he still cannot revenge the Morwell because the Morwell gets so much health back from Grassy Terrain. It's now at 80%, which means even after bullet punch, Katana will not be able to kill it. So he probably has to then uh, go into. Now, Pex will die to plus to knockoff, I think. He would then have to go after second this so, and do Bulu to weaken this and then revenge it with Scarf Katana. But then his team is already so weakened. Um, so I don't see Evie winning this, especially with Poik having months, uh, having months like Tren Lando alive. Um, he's, Poik is uh, completely fine versus the Scarf Katana on Evie's side. He doesn't have to fear uh, getting swept by that. So yeah, Poik is completely free, just spamming knockoff is completely fine. And yeah, like Evie is trying to get low rolls, but it's. It's, it's not working out for him that much. Uh, 40 at 47. I guess now we get like two lower rolls. If he can keep getting those rolls, then eventually he might be able to get out of range from two knockoffs. But I don't see it happening. That was a higher roll again. So I think he's eventually going to um, realize that this doesn't work and he's going to bullet punch. But I can understand why he's trying to do this. Because like it is a tour game you want to win. But it is best of three, so even if he loses, he still has a chance to bring it back. Um, but yeah, you guys can see it. It doesn't work out at all for FV. Even though he's getting a uh, 48 one there at turn 30 and the 50% one, then he's getting 54 at turn 29 and turn 32. So overall, Mobile is doing more than half uh, to the Scizor. Or always around half, basically, he's not getting health back. And yeah, this play is just fine by Poet because obviously if you go Tren, there's a chance that you miss your Madness Storm. But more while this knockoff is just guaranteed uh, damage, gets you something out of the turn. Um, yeah. And yeah, eventually he's gonna run out of Roost. He does now Bullet Punch and sack off his Scissor. And now he's forced to... Um, Katana cannot kill him from here. 
and Katana should probably would probably die to plus to knockoff. If it doesn't die to that, it dies to knockoff into Sucker Punch. So he's probably forced to go Bulu here. But the problem with that is it gives them more and more grassy, the grassy terrain back as well. And after the Bulu obviously would die, um, Bulu would die here too. I don't even know if he has to go for Blair Off. He might just go for knockoff. Knockoff into Sucker Punch. Because and it also means if he doesn't Oko the Bulu, he gets another turn of grassy terrain, which is not bad for Poik at all. He's able to eat up a wood hammer. And the yeah, knockoff actually kills, I'm a bit surprised by that. Well, Mora is strong. I mean, yeah, he did get some recoil with Warhammer, so it makes sense. Now Katana can kill this with Leaf Bed or Sacred Sword. Um, he doesn't necessarily need the Mora, but he could still keep it. Uh, if I recall correctly, his Lando was still at full, so he can go to his Lando here. And then, depending on what F he goes for, okay, just sex. It was completely fine. Now, this should really be Scarf, but he doesn't know that 100% confirmed. So I assume, yeah, he goes into land to get the Intimidate. If it's Scarf, then obviously he turn would have been the play there as well. But this works because he can just go for U-turn here. And now he can go into his heat turn here, right? If this is not choice, um, then it's actually it's, uh, scary for Poik. But it should be choice. We, we have seen the, the land was the move. Um... I don't think the Hooper was Scarf. I haven't cut the Hooper damage, but yeah, he goes into his Bulu now. Um, I guess he, he wants to confirm. If it goes for Smart Stroke now, then he knows it's not Scarf. He wanted to confirm that pretty much. Um, also, SD Bulu, SD Katana sometimes doesn't run Smart Strike, so I can completely understand the Bulu play there. Um, because if you go Trend there and the Katana has Second Sword, that could put you in a bad position. Um, nice pivot by Effie going packs on the Superpower and back to Katana, but this doesn't matter too much. Pretty sure the Bulu doesn't even die to anything other than leave, other than Smart Strike at this at this range. And I mean, I think that that has to be Scarf of Katana. There's no way it's not Scarf. So if it goes for, let's say it goes for a Smart Strike and kills the Bulu. Afterwards, Tren comes out and gets the kill with Magma Storm. And the game is pretty much just over whenever he turn comes out. If Katana is locked into a move that is not Sacred Sword. I really don't see Effie's win con here, so he just sacks the Lando, Poik sacks the Lando here to Leaf Blade. Doesn't even die, showing that Lando is this nice and bulky with Intimidate. And he goes hard trend now. Um, I think he realized that it's probably, that it has to be Scarf. Like, I think at first he was scouting to confirm that it's Scarf. And, I mean, he was just playing it safe. I'm pretty sure, like, Poik is not dumb or anything. He, oh, yeah, I said Magma Storm. I just, he, had, he just off Poik, my bad, my bad. Earlier I said he still has to hit Magma Storm. But at this point, off power pretty much killed everything. Katana has pissed poor Spadev, and Pex, oh, you guys could see, would have gotten two hit killed. So he pivots back. Uh, he pivots back, trying to, I don't know, just hoping that it could live off power, I guess. But obviously, he cannot. But thank you guys for watching. Obviously, um, we will be back with game two, either me or one of my mans. Uh, UB, if it's a lower tier, we'll be back with that. Um, yeah, Pork is up 1-0. Oh, let's see if he can uh, win the second game off. There will be a game three. Thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah, I just had that little narration mistake with the with the terrain thing. Uh, with the with the map. He didn't have to risk map and goodbye.